Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial in Corel Draw. Have you always wanted to do a white line contour around a photo such as you see on the screen here and then place it on a background to make the image pop? Well you can do that in Corel, you don't need to use Canva or Photoshop to achieve this. It's ideal for your YouTube and your blog posts in order to you know, make that image stand out on a colored background and add your text alongside. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that. Now, we first of all, we need to get an image and we can do this one of two ways. We can either download an image and upload it to remove.pg, which takes the background away. It's a great little freemium service that's online. Um, you can obviously pay for it's a small price of credits if you want the hd quality but you know nine times out of ten for like thumbnails it's pretty good quality as you can see there that's not too bad and the other way then is obviously just jumping on the internet and remembering to use the extension p p n g so you get a transparent so if we use this one here we right click it save as and that will download it to my uh downloads folder we just call that guy jump over into Corel and let's do the the magic so opening a page let's turn this landscape let's import the gentleman and let's bring him in so there we have him lovely right and as you can see if we put it into simple wireframe it is simply an image it's flat there's no way we can create a contour without manually going around that with uh, photo paint or with a line and then cutting it out with nodes. Too time consuming, we don't wanna do that. We can do this in under a minute. Um, likewise, as you can see, it is a flat image. If you were doing this for a vector, it would be a much easier process, but the photos provide the biggest challenge. So let's come back into the enhanced view. So if we right click this uh, to put a background on there, you can see, yes, it's already transparent, fantastic, but there's no way we can put a contour on it. So this is the way to do it. Let's duplicate the page along with the contents. So now we have two versions of the page. Working on page two, we now simply select the image. Let me just zoom in to give you uh, an easier view of it, okay? So we select the image and we come over to bitmap and we need to change it to basically, uh, where are we, where are we? It is, we need to change it to the mode and black and white, just one bit. So when we select that, you can see the image is there. And what, what you kind of, you're trying to find where you feel it's comfortable, you're getting what you need. So I'm suggesting somewhere there, that doesn't look too bad. We just want to knock out as much white as we can. And normally I'm around the 230 mark, um, which, you know, would knock some of this white off. So let's do that just to see if it works comfortably on this image. And bear in mind, the image we've selected needs to have a reasonable solid color for the white to stand next to it. You need to select line art as opposed to any other and then press OK. Now we have a solid area that is black, but it's not perfect. We can get rid of all these white internal. That doesn't make a difference. Now, the way to do that now is we need to come to trace the bitmap, come onto the outline and again, line art. That will then convert it purely into the one color. And you can see that's a lot more solid. We also need to make sure the remove background is included on there. And if you want to play with the detail, you know, to get a little bit more, you can purely up to you and then when you're ready just press apply great so now we actually have an image if we click the color you can see it's actually selected the outline if i break that apart ungroup all the objects i can get rid of the messy bits and pieces inside that doesn't really matter and in order to make that work then we can use the closed curve it's not essential there are ways around all of this if i go back a step delete that, just bring the image across. The easiest way would have been to take that image that much uh, larger within the trace. So back into, uh, let me just resize it, back into the trace, 
Let's get the mode back into one bit, 230. Yeah, happy with that. Can go a bit darker, but I think that'll be fine. Yeah, lovely. Back into the trace, outline, line art. And then I'm gonna knock this down a little bit more. So that way then you can see it's killing some of this white that I don't want. So actually I'm gonna take it all the way down to the bottom. Perfect. Now I have a, a solid silhouette. Ensure that the remove background's on and press okay. There we are, lovely, press green. Yeah, I can see that works. Just control Z, undo it. Lovely. So now we actually have that. So we can get rid of this background. Now we have just the outline ready to go over the top of our image. So what we do now is we come on to effects and we want contour because what we're trying to do now is create just a small line that reads this outline and therefore will give us that ghosting or halo effect we can put over our image. So in order to do that, we only want one single step. We want it also to show on the outside of the contour and we can press apply. And there you are, perfect. Now you can obviously play with the thickness if you want it a lot thicker. You can go a lot, lot thicker there and apply, as you can see. And plus, if you get parts that you feel are a bit, little bit jaggy and you want that smoother, and to be honest, that's actually not bad, then you can come in and you can blend the contour a little bit more by using the corners, which I, I do all accounts. Otherwise, as you can see there, you get this spike. Mine are already preset to it, but just to make you aware of it in this quick tutorial, and press apply. Now I'm quite happy with that. If I come back to fit, uh, to fit, you can see there's our image. Now if I do Control C, I copy that across, and I come onto the image and I do Control V, and it sits on top of the image. Simply then going into the object and changing the order, pushing it to the back. It means it's behind the the very back, which I don't want. So let's come to the order again push the outline to the back, and there you are. You've got the image as simple as that. But you might notice if you've got a very sharp eye, there's a little bit of red up here, which is being drawn in by the white there. And again, that's a quick fix. We simply come into here and we change the color. So if we bring that all down to white, zero, 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 there's no ghosting in there whatsoever. And you can see the clarity of the image is not 100%, but you know that depends on where you source the image. But you can see how the white is there. And let's just come to the white. And obviously what you can do then is you can group that image. So if you group it, come back to fit. And if I move that then to the side, Obviously, I could crop the image if I wanted. Now I have room to put text, and I can put that image as I want it. Uh, I can make it any a little bit smaller if I wanted, and it keeps the contour with it. Again, if you want to just break that apart, come into the contour, you can play with it. Easiest way to do that. So let's say we wanted a really fine line on it. Let me ungroup that a minute. And then when I click the image, it'll be the top image. Hold down your Alt key, click again and it's selected the silhouette underneath it. It's gone to the next layer. And in this one then I can just reduce it down a little bit and apply and there you are a much finer, more professional image. And if I just bring that ever so slightly off the page and when I go to save it, I don't get the contour on the bottom. I get a nice sharp image as you can see. Here you are, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Many more to come.